Hey everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome to this video and my channel on YouTube. I so appreciate you all. Today is uh, April 26th. When this posts, it will be April 27th and it is getting near the end of uh, Subscriber Appreciation Month. So I just want to say how much all of you mean to me as subscribers to my channel and how important you are. And uh, so I hope that this content will be something you're interested in. I think you will love it. So what we're going to do today is uh, something that I actually learned today. It's using some materials that you have to create a crackle look, which is a vintage look to a background to make your tags or whatever. And I think this would be great. So here is a picture and see how the uh, crackle looks like old vintage wood or whatever. And I just put some uh, stickers on here that you can kind of see the background through. So that's what we're going to make today. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's super easy and you will love it. And then you're going to be wanting to make all kinds of vintage crackle looking uh, tags or, um, you know, any, any background image that you want. You can add it to your junk journals, to cards, to create a background for painting, whatever you want to do. And you can do it on any material. So you're going to love it. I did learn it from Sheena Douglas today on Crafter's Companion. So if you want to know where I learned it, I've used Crackle before, but uh, I don't always have it, you know, at my disposal. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create our own crackle and I'm going to show you how it's done. So let's jump in. So before I go on, I do want to invite you to subscribe to my channel um, and to like the video. Liking the video and subscribing helps my video, my content get out there towards to others so that they can view it and enjoy it as well and learn some maybe new some new techniques or whatever. So I have my mat here. This again is what I'm talking about. It's this crackle looking background that this is just a piece of black cardstock. So you could do it on anything. So I have um, a piece of chipboard, a little piece of cardboard. You can just get this out of your frame. Maybe you take it out, have another piece of just black. I wanna show you how easy it's done. Also, um, if you don't have a paint palette, you don't have a plate, um, save your sticker um, little bags that they come in. This is from actually Monday night when we did the um, Dollar Tree cards and just got the plastic still on it. So I'm going to use that as a palette um, for mixing. You also need a tacky glue. This is just regular tacky glue. You can use any kind of tacky glue you want. Then you're going to need a paint, um, some kind of acrylic paint. I'm going to use, I used red, that rose color earlier, so I'm going to use this um, ivory antique parchment is what it's called tonight, so i got to get that open. And then just a little gesso, and you can buy gesso relatively inexpensive. Um, you can get it at any craft store usually, and Amazon has it also. I think it's in one of my Amazon uh, lists. Uh, if not, I will go and make sure that it's in there. So what you need is a palette and then you're going to need a uh, paintbrush. So I've got my paintbrush here. I, it is in water because I was using it earlier. Um, and so I had to clean it. So I'm just going to put it over here. I will tell you the hardest thing is waiting for your tacky glue to dry. So and it doesn't take that long. This is a quick dry tacky glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take my tacky glue and spread it onto my, whatever my um, project will be on. So I've got it on the chipboard or cardboard from a frame, and then I've got a piece of cardstock. So we're just gonna spread this, and you wanna spread it all over, and you can go any direction. Um, if you go uh, up and down and then sideways with your tacky glue, uh, then your cracks will be a little bit uh, different, interesting. So 
then that's all you do to that and it has to dry. So then I'm gonna do it here on my um, black sheet. So that is what the yellow one is on. It's on this black. And you need to wait for your glue to kind of turn clear. So see how cloudy it is right now? Um, and have you done crackle before? I'm just curious as to who all has done the crackle uh, in their backgrounds before. Because you buy two different bottles and then it creates this um, crackle effect. So, okay, so we're gonna let that over here to dry. And then I'm gonna just wipe up this little uh, glue here. Just get a little water and wipe that up on my craft mat. Then I'm gonna wash out my paintbrush. Okay, so I wanna show you this one that's done. You can see how that glue dried and it cracked all in here. You can see it looks like an old piece of painted wood, doesn't it? All right, so I have, that one's on black. This one is already dry and I painted it already. So this one is on a piece of cardboard and you can see the, the way that it crackled um, for this one. And these are drying, so we're gonna let them dry, okay? So while those are drying, I'm gonna close up that glue. I'm gonna just decorate this one. So this one is really pretty. Okay, so let's just decorate this small, the smaller version of this. And I'm just using some, this mushroom here, stickers. And I like that these are the bigger stickers. So this one's kind of tearing a little bit. But you can see through them, really. You can see that background. So when you put it on there, you can still see that crackle through there, which is really awesome. And then um, this one is really pretty too. And you can just make them into tags. You can also make them into pockets. So if you wanted this to be a pocket in your journal, just add it to your journal with, you know, the pocket, um, you know, use your double stick take tape. All right. So I love this look of the old, it reminds me of old wood, like barn wood. And then one thing that I thought you could do is take your, um, your brown dye ink. I'm thinking and talking at the same time. It's not working very well. <laughs> so your brown dye ink and just go around the edges and it adds a whole nother um, element to it. And gives it that old aged like barn wood look. It's just very cool. Now this is with that rose color paint. This one, it's called geranium red actually. But, all right. So our glue is drying. And you can see it just barely has any of the cloudy look to it here. And then the black is almost, almost all gone. So that's good. So what we're gonna do now, let me show you the next step before you decorate, of course. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some gesso. And gesso is just, um, usually it's like something you put on a primer, you know, underneath uh, your paint. But you can also use it to, like you can stencil it and it gives it a little elevated, I don't know, type of look. I've used it that way before on a master board and thing. And it's, um, it's, it's just a really cool element to add, like multimedia. So I've got some of that, and it's, this is white gesso. You can also get black gesso. But I'm just gonna take some antique parchment acrylic paint, and we're just gonna mix that together. Now the acrylic paint makes the gesso a little more, I don't know, not so 
card, I guess. So you can see we've got some pretty color here. This is just the antique color to it. So we're just getting that on the brush. Now, when I put it on here, on top of that glue, I just want, I don't want to um, swipe it like this. I just want to go straight up and down or I can go this way. Maybe we'll go this way on this one. So I'm just going to get some gesso, mix it with that paint, get it on my brush. And then let me put this under here so I don't get it on there. All right, the gesso. All right, so I'm just going to go up and down. And what it's going to do is it will start to crackle just like if you bought that crackle. And I'm not gonna smear it a bunch of ways. I'm just gonna cover it. And then as it dries, and it does take a little, a little bit to dry, that's why I wanted to show you that other one that I had made. It takes just a bit to dry. But I wanted you to see it because it is the coolest effect for your backgrounds, your tags, and, and everything. So we're gonna set this one aside and let it to start to crackle. And then we're gonna do this one. So let's do it this way. Get that out of the way. All right, so I'm just mixing the gesso with that antique parchment acrylic paint and just getting it on my brush. And then I'm just gonna just go down not a whole bunch of swiping here with the brush, just enough to cover cover it. I just want to make sure I use up my gesso because I don't want to have any left. And that glue um, is what activates that gesso to dry. All right, so you can already see on this one, it's starting to crackle. You can already see the crackle. So this is gonna look like wood. Okay, while that's crackling, and you can see it's starting to crackle all over, this one is really working. Let me get that, oh, it's amazing. Anyway, so let's go back to this. This is just that same paper, just cardstock. And I used uh, like a yellow paint and put some stickers on there. And I think that would be really a cute uh, pocket for junk journal. So you could just put it in here and make it a, a pocket for your page. You know, like a full size pocket if you wanted to do that. Then these would be cute tags. Now you could add more to it. You could add words and you could add, you know, like a little fairy on here. Um, and there's just so much you can do it, but you can just see that it looks like wood. It looks like barn wood is what it looks like to me. So I just really fell in love with this technique. Um, the gesso, again, relatively inexpensive, 50 cent paint, a paintbrush, some water, and some tacky glue. You can buy tacky glue at Dollar Tree or a dollar store somewhere. I mean, really inexpensive. And you're gonna start looking for anything that you can do this with because it's just about any surface. You just put that glue on first, let it dry to clear, just um, not fully dry, but you know that clear, that. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that crackle on there. Can you see? <laughs> Amazing. And this one is already just really going to town on it. So let me get that off. So isn't that amazing? So I hope you enjoyed this technique. Uh, I'm going to have to do it some more. I just am really having fun with this. You can do it on, you know, any surface. You could do it on uh, little wood pieces uh, that you buy like at Dollar Tree and everything. And just try this technique and then decorate away. Just let your imagination run wild. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll, I'll take some pictures as they finish crackling, but I wanted to show you um, this technique. So let me know what you think. And thanks so much for watching.